Lady Gaga just loves to have those erotic type feeling or erotic type situations, doesn't she? Because it's Lady Gaga. What's going on, guys? We're talking American Horror Story Hotel. Now, if you saw my non-spoiler, you know I have a lot of things to discuss in this spoiler review, so you've been warned. I'm just going to really, I'm, I'm guessing you saw the episode, so I'm just going to really talk about what I liked and what I disliked about this episode. And I'm going to jumble all around because I'm not coherent like that. This isn't a coherent story, so let's start, shall we? Lady Gaga. Okay. I do like her, at, I do like how, I think she's doing good. I think she's doing really, let's get that away. I think she's doing really good with the role. I can see why people are glowing about her. She, I'm not going to hate on her, man. She's actually doing a really good job with this vamp. She's having a lot of fun. You can tell she's having a lot of fun being a vampire, being evil. I don't even necessarily call her, well, she's killing a lot of people, so yeah, she's evil. <laughs> and Dandy, did we, did Dandy, Dandy is in, Dandy's back. And he's back. He's a model. And boy, is this another good role for this guy, uh, the actor. It's such a good role for him because I believe he's a snotty, arrogant, piece of shit model who just ruins runways and kisses random people and does coke all day. And he is embracing his inner vampire after Lady Gaga making him a vampire and kicking out Kathy Bates' son, which I don't believe Kathy Bates, or maybe he's still in the hotel, but that's that was a hard breakup. You could tell it was setting that up because you could see she wanted to go out and he did not want to. She doesn't want anybody boring. She wants somebody lively. And hearing her backstory and her being in the 1900s and I've heard it all before when it comes to vampires. It kind of harkens back a little bit to Interview with the Vampire, which is a fantastic film if you haven't seen it. That is how you make a vampire movie. However, yes, uh, her backstory was okay. It was fine. I've heard it all before, like I said. Her appetite, let's just say her appetite is definitely, she's very, when, when people watch this and they're like, oh, there's too much graphic stuff or sexuality going on i mean you got orgies you got man on man you got woman on woman i mean with lady gaga's being a vampire a vampiris and the guy being a vampire as well and then of course the son of kathy bates the junkie being a vampire it's i get it because i've seen a lot of vampire movies and that's what i think that's what they're embracing is the sexual sexuality that vampires have the blood blood is like an erotic kind of type of deal so the one scene there's a lot of graphic scenes in here the one scene where she cuts the junkies or no she cuts her own arm and then the junkies like taking blood from from her it was a graphic scene i gotta say the graphic scenes in this episode are well done they're well done the makeup is well done the cinematography is beautiful i think the cinematography works so well uh, the direction sometimes it kind of is good and then it's kind of bad. There was one particular scene in a bar with Sarah Paulson and the de detective where the detective was getting up and I just felt like the angle was a little off. Now, let's get to the backstory of the hotel overall itself because I really want to talk about this. I think it was beautifully done. Now, if you saw my non-spoiler, you said there was it, the black and white flashback works for this very, very well. Than let's say The Walking Dead in their last episode. So uh, no spoilers for The Walking Dead. But there's a particular. In the last episode of The Walking Dead. Basically they use black and white. To tell a, a mixed kind of bags of storytelling. Of editing pretty much. The, they use the black and white to say that was a flashback. And then of course we go to present day. When everything's in color and this and that. It, can't, it works. It works. However the problem with The Walking Dead. Was they were going back and forth. Back and forth too fast. Too fast. There wasn't. It wasn't a long flashback. It was just constantly just going back and forth. That was really just felt jarring. So I understand that people did enjoy that editing style. I felt like it just wasn't used properly. This episode of American Horror Story used that editing very properly. The flashback with I gotta say though, when I saw Evan Pe even Pe uh, Eva even Pet Peters. I said his name right when I was watching it. Even Peters. When I saw him and him being the first, the guy who built the hotel, the, the guy who has all the money. When I first saw him, when he, I think he met Dandy. He met Dandy. He met the model. 
I was laughing my ass off. I was like, what? Who? What? What? Am I seeing? Am I watching? Is he doing a Citizen Kane accent? I was just laughing. I was like, oh my God, look at that mustache. The Walt Disney of the hotel. And of course, he's evil. Of course, he's a serial killer. But you know what? The flashback was so well done. And you just tell. He just, you could just tell. He's having so much fun. Especially with all these murders. Now, that's where the gory part happens. Like, he's killing, like, he's banging this chick while he's slashing her up. He has this one tied up. And his wife enjoyed all the torturing as well. And then, of course, that one maid that's cleaning the sheets, that was pretty much his minion. His whole story, his whole backstory was very fascinating and very. I don't want to say enjoyable because he's killing people, but it was enjoyable to see uh, Peters just really just have a delight, have so much fun, and play with the accent. But going back to the black and white editing style, that whole flashback, there was never going back to Kathy Bates and her going, mm hmm, and that's what happened. There at the very end of the flashback, but the flashback was a good like five minutes, good five minutes. You understood why there was a use of flash uh, black and white for the editing, and not only that, they did a grainy type film for the for the footage that they used with Peters in that flashback. Absolutely loved it. I thought you're using the graininess, <laughs> you know, that actually works. It actually works for this type of flashback since it's set in this type of era. Beautifully done. I thought they nailed that. And that is the proper use of the black and white. When you're trying to convert something from. Or to have a black and white kind of flashback. Other than The Walking Dead. So I'm going to get off that subject. I got to say though. The Peter's backstory. Especially when. <laughs> I thought the maid. It was like. I don't know why I was thinking. Like she ain't going to kill herself. Or she's going to run. Or he's going to kill her. I don't know why I was thinking that. Because it's obvious that he, she was wants him to kill her. Or she was going to kill herself, which he does. And then he, no hesitation, slits his own throat. So I'm very intrigued with Peters, his character, and especially why he's still alive or why his spirit is still in this hotel. The detective, let's move on from them. And let's go on to the detective. Why would you continue to stay in a hotel knowing not only is there something you're seeing so many hallucinations or so many things going on here murder you you expect so much murders and then your daughter coming in after seeing holden going and sneaking to see holden because the little kid father who owns the uh the hotel now showed her where he was sleeping why would you continue to go back and sleep in that damn hotel especially when you learned about all these murders that took place I don't understand it. I did, however, like the understanding of why this hotel was created and why it's a torture cha uh, chamber. It's like Dracula's castle. It's Dracula's castle. Uh, but I, this did, and then the actor who's playing him is just—he's not doing it for me. I don't think he's a very good actor. I think he just—he's just not—he's not, not up there. He's not in the level. I think Lady Gaga is doing better than him. I don't think he's a very good actor, honestly, for this role. I haven't seen anything else he was in, but I, I don't necessarily like him in this part. Uh, I do like Chloe, Ch Chloe, his wife, who plays the the nurse and who who does house calls anymore. I, that's, that was a little odd. Um, uh, so I don't understand why he'd go back in the hotel. And then when he takes the phone, because his daughter uh, Scarlett took a picture with her and Holden, even though Holden tried to bite her in the neck. Little shits, huh? Little children in the corn. Um, they're all little vampires, by the way. They're all little vampires. They're all little children in the corn. Little fuckers. Anyway, but he tried to buy his own sister in the neck, and then she took a picture right away. So I thought he wasn't even going to be in the picture, but apparently he's blurry. I mean, your daughter just said that she saw Holden. I get it. You, he's, you think he's dead. He's gone. There's no way to bring him back. But when you look at that picture, you're like, holy shit. You should see, like, that's my son. I don't care if it's blurry. That's my son. Oh, this idiot, not, I don't know. It's it's like a realistic person would say, that kind of looks like my son. I'm going to go check it out. What you kind of try to does, but. Oh, why would you stay in a hotel? I mean, bring the SWAT, bring the team. I mean, they, they do need warrants and stuff. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. And then Angela Bassett made her debut, but there was really nothing to really talk about yet. Uh, she will be incorporated i think a little bit more as the series goes oh it was so funny when lady gaga was telling her backstory though and she was like riding in the horse and she said oh, i love the disco age i was 
sometimes that's those are other parts where I'm just saying that's not supposed to be humorous, but it is. It's making me laugh. I can't stop laughing. Damn it, Lady Gaga. Here I am. How does it love me? Let me do. Yeah, funny. All right, guys, that's the end of my review. But I wanted. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got an announcement. So as you know, I am doing a American Horror Story giveaway, and you could win one this awesome prize, which is a freak show mug. So this is pretty awesome. I mean, I kind of want to keep it, but I bought this with my own money, and I'm shipping this with my own money, and this is goes worldwide. I don't care if you live in a different continent, whatever. I am giving this away to, first of all, you got to subscribe. Second of all, you got to tell me down below, comment below, and let me know why you like American Horror Story, why you love American Horror Story. Tell me how you got into it. And also, tell me what you think about this this season. I mean, a lot of people, I think there's going to be a mixed feelings with this season, honestly, because I've heard a lot of people that say, yeah, it's not for me. So that's pretty much all you have to do to win this great item, and I will ship it to you, and I, I just can't wait for the response. So... Like I said, first subscribe, comment below, and like the video if you like it. I am Danny Man, a.k.a. Daniel's son. And you know what? I am out. Bye, guys.